What's going on, guys? We're back again with another film study. Today, we're looking at the offensive side of the ball. We're looking at a tight end out of Washington, Cade Otten. He's got some size to him, 6'5", 250. I mean, tight ends in college don't really have breakout years. But he was just kind of consistent here. 344 was his biggest year. Last year, 250, only one touchdown. But it's does it translate to the NFL? And that's what we want to break down today. Cade Otten, number 87. For us Buck fans, like looks fairly similar to what... Uh, Mr. Gronkowski is, but no one can compare that to possibly the best tight end in the game ever. Uh, but here he is, Kate Otten. Plus, what initially brings you to like Kate Otten? Yeah, Kate is just reminds me of an old school type of tight end. He's going to be your traditional Y tight end where he's in line a lot of the times, but he can just do a lot of different things and do them very well. So here, just going on a corner route, again, not overly fast, not super athletic, but he's going to find a way to get open and then make the catch as well with a nice hands catch. Again, reverse angle here, you know, decent route, and just making that catch going up in there and getting it. Yeah, he's not going to be a, confused with a blazer or someone that's going to have, like, make you miss moves or anything. But like you said, traditional type of tight end, gets open and makes sure to hands catch that, even though there is a guy coming down the lane about to knock the crap out of him, but it still comes down with the catch. Very similar. No one's really covering him. Same little corner route here. Check him out. Boom. But it's still, it's getting open, presenting as a quarterback, an option to the quarterback, and then hands catch right before getting out of bounds. I like that a lot. Break it down a little bit more. Right. Like you said, just, again, could be a little bit better at the top of his routes. That's something he's got to work on at the next level. But really with K, there's not much room for growth from an athletic standpoint. Pretty much he is what he is and still a very solid player as he makes a nice catch here, getting the feet in bounds. Uh, again, just finding that open space and the quarterback puts it on him. Yeah, there, this is lackluster of, okay, let's make a smooth break out of your cut. Yeah, it's more of just like, I'm just going to run into open space. Nothing really... <laughs> Uh, mind blowing with that, but still, like, same thing here, just kind of leans into it. It's not really a sharp cut, it's not like a 90 degree angle. It's more like, uh, here we go. But maybe this is something he can kind of critique with NFL coaching. But we're not talking like first round talent here, we're talking deeper in the rounds. But a guy that can make his niche on a team, I think, with blocking and just reliable hands catches again, here just presenting as a target, middle of the field. Plus, what do you see? Right. Again, simple concept. We got play action. He's just running a, you know, over route here and getting behind the the linebackers, making a nice hands catch again, securing it. So again, just a solid overall player. He's going to be a guy that can make your roster uh, better. And he's going to be, you know, like you said, he's going to find his role and he's going to do really good things at it. Yeah, and maybe he just wasn't target number one for NF or defenses to kind of key in on. So Subtly, he just gets open. I mean, there's nothing earth shattering. He's not making make and miss or dragon tacklers, even though he is here. But it's reliability. That's what I want to see, especially from a tight end in a system like the Buccaneers, where it's mainly block and present yourself only to be a target if the first, second, and third options aren't open. <laughs> and that's if Gronkowski is not here. But still, middle of the field, just presenting quarterback. I'm an option. What do you like with that one? Yeah. And like you said, you know, I think he presents value for all 32 teams and, you know, teams are looking for that type of tight end where he could be consistent and reliable and really help your quarterback. So as you see there, he comes back to the football. Good job. Now here again, just finding ways to get open, you know, just quick little, you know, in routes. This is what I'm talking about with his route, you know, top of the routes. It could be a little bit, uh, you know, sharper, but this is still pretty good enough. Um, just little things you got to work out you know, with his route nuances, but still presenting an option for your Q QB, catching with the hands. And he's, and getting, we're gonna knocked, he's getting knocked in his butt here, but still securing right. that. I mean, that can pop out easy. There's a shoulder to ball. I think could have popped out, but securing, making sure he's coming down with the catch. No mistakes. That's, that's huge in the NFL, especially. And same here. Like you said, he's going to get open. What happens? Here comes a guy coming down to knock the crap out of him. Secure the catch. Make sure to get down. I mean, we're not going to ask, no one's going to ask him to make any moves or make someone miss. But same, similar idea here, just presenting, middle of the field, absorb a hit. Right, being a safe option for your QB, you know, dragging some tacklers there as well. So, again, showing that toughness, physicality, that's something that he can provide. Um, and, you know, again, here, you know, going down line, 
doing a little chip block, and then he's going to roll out for his quarterback. So just being smart, being aware, presenting an option for your QB. And again, a nice hands catch there in traffic. That's really what it comes down to at the next level, being able to make contested catches. It's going to be very important for him uh, going forward. Something big I like with this one. So he blocks, initial block, yeah, awesome. But he notices, okay, this guy's really close to me. So if I keep running this way, clearly the guy's going to see me. He's going to stick with me. So he slows down a little bit. Just getting in the alleyway. Just I'm right here. I'm a little bit off of everyone. Throw me the ball. That's smart. Just being aware of where you're on the field and knowing wh what defenders are around you. Here, really like this. Really like this. He's blocking potentially the first pick in the draft. One-on-one, -on -one, and then they do a tight end screen. Love me a tight end screen. Break this down for me. Yeah, he really sets this up very well. Again, he shows a good, you know, pass set here with the pass protection on Aiden Hutchinson. Does a good job of just shutting, you know, shutting him across and then presenting an option again, making guys miss, staying on his feet, balance, control. A lot of good things you like um, and, and, you know, protecting that football as well. Yeah, nimble feet too, right? Nothing's, this isn't like a Barry Sanders move, but I mean, staying on your feet, contact balance, getting through tackles. Keep going forward. And like you said, securing the ball. A lot of good stuff on that one. But, I mean, reliability. I like it a lot. Break this down here. Now we're talking some blocking here. Right. And this is where his value is, I think, really going to be, you know, cherished at the next level is his ability to block. And his technique is pretty solid here, just knocking the guy, you know, out of the play. The willingness to block, I think, is a, is a big thing for him. He really likes it, and he enjoys doing it. As you see, they're really pancaking uh, his uh, defensive end there. Yeah, keeping that leg drive going, finishing the play, and looking for someone to hit. Here he is on the other, other side of the field. What do you like with this one? Right here, he's going to down block and then get to the next level and then stay on that guy and take him to the ground. Really good job. Again, not getting too over aggressive with the hands, making sure he's just riding that player um, into the dirt there and does a good job of finishing the block. And you're going to see a lot of that um, in his game. Yeah, and that's chest to chest. That's not a flag on him. It's just good blocking. You can't complain about that. Here, other side again. He's a damn good blocker. I'll give him that. Break it down for me. Right, and his ability to block in space I think is really good. Now, at times it can be better, but you know everything can is a work in progress. But here he just shows a good job of, when he has to identify his man, he knows how to get to it and, and really uh, finish it. And again, same thing on this play here. Now, man on man against Aiden Hutchinson. Again, first overall pick, most likely. Does a good job of just holding him in, you know, holding him on that outside, you know, letting the running back make his play, even though it's stopped for a loss. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge mismatch, though. Aiden Hutchinson's a lot bigger. Like, I'm not talking like just big as in height, because. Otten's literally 6'5 himself, but size-wise, power-wise, this should be a mismatch, but he's holding his ground pretty well there. Yeah, if he puts on a little bit more weight, that's probably an even better block, but the length is there. The Actually knowing where to be and what to do is right there as well. Now more blocking. We like it more. What do you see? Right here, again, just the effort and the willingness to block. Sure, the technique could always be a little bit better, but he does the job, and he gets it done. Um, you know, without, you know, creating a holding penalty or any type of flag, just helping his uh, offensive tackle there does a good job of, you know, just making the play. And then again, here again in pass protection now against Hayden Hutchinson does a good job of just riding uh, 97 out here, gets help from the running back as well. But again, it's a good effort, a lot of effort blocking there. Yeah, think about this. They trusted the tight end to cover Aiden Hutchinson, uh, Hutchinson who's having one hell of a year in that last year, 14 sacks, and you're relying on a tight end to block him. I mean, that's, that's some good faith in your tight end knowing that he does a pretty good job blocking. We keep going on. What do you see here? Where are we at? We're going to looking at blocking yet again. Now David Ajabo. What do you think about that one? Yeah, David, yeah, David Ajabo is another good pass rusher, you know, unfortunate with the Achilles injury. But, yeah, Cade does his job here just holding his ground. Again, he's getting pushed back, but the ability to re-anchor – is really nice. You see those those feet kind of bounce back, but he's holding his own and giving the quarterback time to, to make a decision. And that one, I mean, David Ajabo has got some long arms, so he's using that leverage, but like you said, he's correcting, okay, I may have lost with length, but I got my lower half to kind of kick in and help out as much as I can until that ball is delivered. So it's not bailing out, not getting ran over. So I mean, he's got some skills to him. I mean, it's just using what he has to his advantage and length, size, 
feet, everything. Now, here we go again, blocking again, mono and mono on the outside. What do you see? Well, yeah, here now going up against, uh, it looks like a linebacker, you know, and he just, he can win against these kind of matchups. Again, just good job using his arms, his body, good uh, stout base, and really just changing direction with the defender. So I really like him as a blocker, and I think he can be, you know, very effective at that next level. And one thing to, to note, you saw it against Aiden Hutchinson, David Ajabo, and now just a, a linebacker safety type. So you saw him against power, length, and speed. He did well against all of them. This is a good game to kind of analyze his blocking. I, I came away pretty surprised and knowing that he's a good, really good blocker. But other than that, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you like content like this. Hit that like button. Help support the channel. Comment down below. Where do you think Kate Otten's going to go? And do you see him going on your team? With that said, until the next one.